What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we got this new locker code. Then we got a video that you guys love. What you guys should be doing right now on my team to make MT or whatever in general. So, yeah, guys, we got a new guys with a locker code. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button. Let's get 100 likes on this video. And also, guys, if you could please drop the sub at 11,000 subs, which is about 200 subscribers away, man. We are going to do a uh, 100,000 MT giveaway on Twitter. So make sure to follow the Twitter and the Instagram to enter the giveaway. And um, what's it called? So yeah, 100K giveaway. We're also buying. Uh, we're also selling MT on PS4 and Xbox. So if you do need MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. But here we go, man. Here is the Booker locker code Galaxy Opal Devin Booker, man. Honestly, I'm hyped. I actually did just sell my Evo Booker. We should see that one go down, even though he is a point guard. Um, here it is. This card's actually not bad. I'm actually surprised 2K drops something that's actually good and actually not a fake Opal. So yeah, we're going to go over to code and then we're going to get into some market talks on what you guys should be doing right now on my team to make that MC, to be smart, market investments, everything. We're going to go everything in this video. So here it is, man. C, C. Oh, I like doing the caps. I don't know why. You don't need to, but I like to. Um, it's actually C, then G, then 9, then P. So here it is, man. Booker W J R R T 3 A D M Y. Okay, and then C C G 9 P. Here we go. Here is the code, man. I hope we get some fire. This would be great if we do get Booker. Oh, we get a chance at both of them. Oh, this is some rigged. This is some rigged, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna try. Uh, oh, I went for the wrong side too. I'm so dumb. So it looks like we're gonna get um, tokens. Oh. Oh, no. Come on. All right. Yeah, we get the tokens. I guess I'll take it. I really definitely think there is a token market update in this game because 110% token market update. Guys, tomorrow we're going to have four to five videos as well. But yeah, you guys are here for what you guys should be doing right now in my team. So first off, they did drop this super pack, which is very good news. Um, This super pack is very good. It should drive the prices down. And what you guys should be doing right now is picking up these cards because I believe we're going to get primed today. I think... Only card I would say don't pick up really is LeBron. I think he will continue to crash. But Porter Bowl, earlier today, you should definitely check their prices throughout the day because sometimes they could go down. There's probably going to be a lot of snipes on them. So if you find out a snipe filter for those cards, it would probably be pretty deadly. Also, one card I'm going to say right now. You really want to pay attention to all these cards because I know for a fact they did drop earlier in the day. If they dropped earlier in the day, you guys can make so much MT. Like literally... Pay attention to the diamonds and the pink diamonds if you want to make quick MT. But since these packs are out, man, I'm going to look over these prices. I'm also going to go over investments and stuff. So let's see, man. Magic Johnson's definitely down. Bowles definitely down. Michael Porter Jr. is around 190K. Lamar Odom's down. What I would do, recommendation. You guys have investment money. A lot of people have been asking for recommendations on who they should invest in. I'm going to say this once again. Lamar Odom and Luka Doncic are key investments. Also, I think J.R. Smith Opal is a very good investment, considering the fact he's so expensive. Um, I mean, he's not that expensive, and I think he's one of the best shooting guards in the game with a 99 three-point shot, a great release, and a great defense. Honestly, he really is, and I think for 200K, it's a steal. I think he has a chance of going up 300K, because to be honest, I do not see him dropping in packs after these packs for a very long time. So honestly, if I were you, in this pack, what you guys should be doing is probably picking up some of these Opals. If you can, I would recommend picking up um, anybody but Paul George. I feel like Paul George has a chance of going up, but I'm not totally sure. He is a very risky card. Let's see if they have a Sapphire Manu Bowl in here. That's what I want to see. Okay, Sapphire Manu Bowl is in packs. It, he is the most rare card in this game. I don't know why. So we're going to go over this card, man. He was going for 100,000 MT. He's probably cheaper. So now, if you see this card for around 20,000 MT... Like, honestly, I think I'm going to pick up a ton of these cards. This is the most rare card in the game. And last time I saw him for around 20k MT, he shot up to 100k in a couple days. So I'm going to probably buy some of these for 40k. I definitely do not see his price staying here. 
I actually might snipe this. This is one thing you guys should do is probably try sniping out this Manu Ball. I promise you, this is the most rare card in the game. And not only that, you could flip between Pink Diamond and Sapphire throughout the day. This Pink Diamond at around 30k is definite buy, I think. Um, 30 something K, man. I think he's going to be a buy. I'm going to pick up a couple myself. 28k is way too cheap for a 7 7 monster paired up with his son, who's absolutely insane. So, I'm going to do some investments on this card for you guys. Hopefully, it pans out. This is one investment I would definitely say. Keep checking between the pink diamond and the sapphire. I'm telling you, man, the pink diamond goes up a lot, and you can make a lot of MT off it. I'm telling you right now, that card is amazing. He's amazing with Bow Bowl. He's 7-7. Seven, seven. He's decently fast. He's really lanky. And I would 110% Mega Man you guys pick up. Him up. Let's see. What other cards? I'm going to say this right now. Um, stay away from Peja. Let's go over some pink diamonds. Uh, Rudy Gay's a good one to pick up. Magic Johnson's a good one. AD's a good one. Gerald Green's decent to snipe. Greg Oden's decent. Paul George, if you could snipe him. Uh, Ralph Sampson, Jeff Green. Jeff Green's a pretty good one. Ralph Sampson's actually a pretty good pickup because he is 7'5". Uh, on the Opals, I would recommend picking up Taco. I think he's too cheap for his size. Uh, Caruso, no. Tracy, no. Melo, no. Melo is not a bad pickup. Bull Bull is not a bad pickup. Porter is not a bad pickup. Stay away from Draymond because he's a buyout. So I would say a couple of the Opals are bad. And also, you guys should definitely be playing Triple Threat. They have a ton of good rewards right now. Like a really good, a lot, of, a lot, a lot, a lot of good rewards. But uh, let's go over some other things. Like the Pink Diamond Filter. Let's see if that's popping right now. See who drove. Wow. The Pink Diamonds dropped in value a ton. That's not good news. Uh, let's see. So Pedro Stojagovic, since they did drop that locker code, did drop the value a lot of cards. But I think if you guys snipe around the 10,000 filter, it's not going to be a bad idea. I think you guys could pick up a decent amount of snipes. So 10,000, refresh with the max bid, whatever you want to refresh with. Oh, there we go. That's a snipe. And I missed it. So as you can see, man, this filter should be popping. I just missed a car Malone for 10K. So definitely set up your filters, try out the pink diamond filter, try out the diamond filter. And also, let's go over more investments because I know you guys are here for that. So Manu Bowl is a definite investment. Right now, this week, I honestly think you should sell your cards because I think tomorrow is going to be a prime day. I'm sorry I'm talking fast, bro. I'm sorry. I honestly think tomorrow is going to be a prime day. If it is a prime day, what you guys should do is 110% sell your cards today. Honestly, I think today is going to be the best day to sell your cards unless you're investing in any of these cards, okay? do If you're investing in any of these cards, don't sell yet. I say wait till Sunday, but if they drop Prime, they your cards could rise, but all, then again, next week, they're going to have something even bigger. So, because since it's Endgame, bro, as we keep going on, Opals and OP cards are going to continue to drop because everybody's going to sell their cards. Like this card right here, I'm probably going to get outbidded. If I get Magic Johnson for 250 that's a snag. He's really cheap right now. Honestly, he's a good investment as well. I honestly just think that you guys, it's completely up to you. You could sell your cards. You don't have to. It's up to you, man. I just think tomorrow's a prime day, which usually inflates the market. If it's a prime, like a nice normal prime day, it usually does inflate the market. And guys here, look at all these sales we got, man. We got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff to sell. If you guys didn't know, I did get Anthony Davis. It was completely worth it. He's a beast, but too bad my Xbox controller is broken, so I can't really play online without rage quitting. Um, let's see. So, investments. Uh, okay, so we got Hito Turkoglu is not a bad investment. Carmelo is definitely worth the investment, especially if you can evil him out. I think Melo's actually very good. Like I said, Lamar Odom, Taco. Um, let me think. Lamar Odom, Taco. Um, Luka Doncic. I feel like Bosch is a little cheap. Ben Simmons is definitely a little cheap. But like I said, man, next week, I expect all the high Opals, like LeBron, to drop like crazy. And also, I feel like they're going to do something for Jordan. I think they made him too rare. I think they're going to make him a little more easier to get because they can't have a card priced at 3 mil. It really does kill their auction block. They're going to drop it or the, the bots are going to drop it. Something's going to drop with that MJ. So if you have MJ... I really would not hold on to him. I don't think he's going to be worth that much for that much longer. 3 million MT is a lot of money, a lot of investing, a lot. But I could get him, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to wait. I think he's going to drop. But yeah, that's what you guys should be doing in my team. Definitely looking at investments. Definitely looking at snipes, typing in those codes. And honestly, guys, that's all we got for the video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for four to five videos tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Peace.